Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can use Photoshop Elements to add a border around a picture and then a frame around that border. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. Okay, let's start this off with a new picture right here. There we go. Here's the basic picture. I'm just going to close that one in the background, get that out of the way. There we go. Now, the first thing you need to do here is to take your background and make a copy of your background layer. Just right click and duplicate layer and choose OK. That's because we'll be changing the background to something else and we want to save that so we don't mess that background up. Okay, now on this layer up here, this is going to be our protection layer. So make another copy of this, right click and duplicate layer right there, choose OK, and then just hide that one. That's just in case we mess things up, we have this one to go back to. Okay, now on this layer up here, we're going to be changing the size of this, but first let's change our background. So I'm going to hide that layer temporarily. Let's come down to the background layer right here, and then come down here where it says graphics, and choose backgrounds. Now in here, I'm using one that's right down the middle down here, right there. It's called grunge texture. Click on that and it's going to change that background layer to this. And you see this little light blue triangle in the upper right hand corner? That means that you still need to download this layer from the Adobe site. Don't worry, there's no cost for that, but you will have to have your computer active with the internet in order to get that download. Okay, back to our layers right here. So the background's taken care of. Let's now bring this layer back in again. Click on your layer and you should see control handles in the upper corners. If you don't, just use the control T keyboard shortcut to bring those up. Then just grab one of those and let's bring this down so it's a nice size in here. You think just about like that, maybe just a little bit smaller. In here someplace, just kind of visually do this. We'll be putting our border inside of this and the frame outside of that. Okay, choose OK. So I just give it a nice amount of space around the outside there. Now, let's make another copy of this. Right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. Now this layer here, this is going to be our picture layer. I'm going to rename this. Just call it picture. And this will be our border layer. There we go. Okay, on the border layer, go up to layer, come down to layer style and style settings. In here, click on stroke. Now, this is very important. Change your color over here to bright red, upper right hand corner, and choose OK. I know it's kind of strange, but this is an important step. You'll see why in just a moment. Put your position here to inside, and then bring your size up until you have a nice size for that. I think somewhere right around in here. Nice nice thick frame in there. This is going to be our border for the picture. And then choose OK. Opacity is at 100%. Choose OK. Notice that we now have our effects over here on that layer. So let's get rid of that. Right click on the name and choose Simplify Layer. That combines the effects onto our image layer. Now, go over here, grab the magic wand, click in the red like that. Go up to select an inverse everything is selected except for the red, so you can now just hit the delete key. That removes all this. You can see it right there. There's our layer. If I hide the picture, there it is. There's just that frame. Okay, select and deselect. Now we can change the color of our frame. So the reason for the red was to make it easy to select without selecting anything else using the magic wand. Okay, let's come down here to our colors right there. Get a color picker. And set your color at F-A-E-C-C-F. It's just kind of a tan color, a light tan color, kind of a buff color. Grab the paint bucket and click into that red, and that just colors that, that buff color. Let's now put a texture onto this so our border has a nice texture to it. Go up to Filter, come down to Filter Gallery, and in here, choose the Texturizer. It's inside of the Texture section right there. Come down to Texturizer. I have mine set for Canvas. I have my scaling at 200%, and my relief at 5, and my lighting angle top left corner. We'll be doing the same lighting angle for our drop shadows for the frame and the border in just a moment. Okay, choose OK. And there we go. There's kind of a nice linen looking border for our picture. Now this may be enough for you. That's fine. But we'll put a frame onto this also. But first I want to have just a little bit of a drop shadow in here. Go back up to layer. Come down to layer style again. Style settings. This time go to drop shadow right here. Change your size to 1. Change your lighting angle to 135 upper left hand corner. And then bring your distance out. I'll set it at 11 and change the opacity here to 75. There we go. Don't worry about the outside. That's not going to be showing. It'll be hidden by our frame. We just want to have this little thin drop shadow in there. It just puts a little bit of thickness 
on our border for our picture. Okay, that's all taken care of. Now let's add a frame into this. Go back over to the graphics and change this down to frames. Here we go. Now way down towards the bottom, I'll pull it way down. And it's right down here. It's a long ways down. It's that one right there. Old black and gold frame. Click on that and it puts this photo frame onto your picture. Now normally you click in here and you put a picture in there. But we'll be doing this in a different way. Go over here to layers. And you see that this is a layer group right there with a lot of stuff inside. Text, a mask, there is that frame and a shape in behind that. A lot of stuff in here. What you want to do is to take this black gold layer right here and pull that down. So we're pulling it outside of this layer group right here. Now, hit the layer group, click on the trash can, and delete group and contents. So now I just have that frame left. Now pull the frame to the top, and it's sitting in front of everything else. Now notice bottom right hand corner, kind of little funny icon. That means that this is a smart layer. We need to fix that. So right click where it says black gold and choose simplify layer. There it goes, no longer a smart layer. Okay, now back to the magic wand, click inside the white area and hit the delete key. It just removes that and then deselect. Okay, now grabbing our move tool, let's go over here to that layer. We can then move this around anywhere you want like that. What I want to do is I want to make it the same height just about as that frame inside. So I'm going to grab the bottom there's a little control handle right down there. Grab that and just pull that up until the frame just overlaps into our border. And then on the left and right hand side, pull that out. Go just past your border and pull it in just a little bit on the border. Same thing on the right hand side, pull it out past it and then come back in. So it's just overlapping onto that border and hit the green check mark. Okay, the frame now fits exactly on our border and then our picture is inside of that border. One more thing to do in here is to get this little drop shadow in here. So for that, come down to the border right here, right click on the name and choose copy layer style. Now go up here to the black gold layer, right click on the name and choose paste layer style. That just copies that layer style from the one layer to the other. And there's that little drop shadow in there. Gives it more of a 3D effect. Okay, I think I got mine pretty close here as far as positioning. If your positioning is a little bit off, just grab your top layer, hold the shift key down, click on the picture layer and you can then move that whole thing around like this until you get it positioned just exactly right. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check my channel out for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.